Got you, Sharon? Hey! We are going live. We're going to give some people some time to get up in here. So to give it a few minutes. It's the um that's on the announcement. <laughs> okay, let me get these notes ready. We're gonna give some people some time to get in, get in, get in. Okay. All right. Let's play that music again. <laughs> You got your snacks and your water? I'm just gonna give it a few more minutes. How you doing today, Sharon? Feeling good? Yes, get your water, get your snacks and everything. Get it, get it, get it. We're going to have a good old time now. I don't know how long. I'm going to turn this and turn the other one down so I can admin over here too. <clears throat> going to give some people time to get in, get in, get in. Okay, all right. Hello, hi, Kathy Lean. How you doing? Lovely to have you. Tell Zaylin I said hello, hi. That's my young client, you guys. For those of you guys who do not know, I do work with children as well. As young as 10 years old, I work with gifted children as well. I am excited about this live, you guys, because we're going to be covering a whole lot here today. If you guys, for those of you guys, you guys are you guys are my clients that are already in the chat. So if you want to get a mini reading, go ahead and zill over your payment now. Sharon, I know you're already taking care of it. Kathleen, if you would like to get a little mini read, feel free. Hello, Marcel. I see a first time watcher there. How are you? Welcome to the live. We're going to be discussing celebrities and doing some collective readings. We're just going to give some people some time to get in here. Get in here, get in here, get in here. Let's run that music back a little, one more time. How are you guys feeling today? We're just gonna give people some time to get in, get in, get in. I'm literally going to give it like three more minutes. Hi, Marcel. Where were you hailing from? I see a newbie to the live. Where are you hailing from? You good? I'm glad you're good. How are you doing, Miss Kathleen? Many, many. Hello, Medits. Hello, welcome to the live. We're waiting for a few more people to get in so we can get started. <laughs> We're going to be talking about a whole, whole, whole lot today. Okay, you guys know that I'm a prompt person and, and the announcement has been made. And this also, I am planning on posting it to YouTube. So you guys can know that I will be going live. It is my desire to go live as much as possible in the new year. I want to pick a day. You guys throw some days down in the um, chat that's really good for you. Hello, Blessing. Welcome to the live. You can only report them. Don't worry about it. We'll, don't I, I got it too. We'll take care of it. No problem. Hello. Welcome to the live. 
Okay, guys. So we're going to just go ahead and get started. We're going to say a prayer as we always do in my one-on-one -on -one sessions. And then we're going to get into the session here. Spirit is just telling me to go because I've already played. I've already prayed twice. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, so as I stated, we're going to be doing celebrity readings and mini readings. For those of you guys who are paying, what I'm going to do is, or have already paid rather, I'm going to give you guys what Spirit gave to me in preliminary messages. In um, hello. I'm going to give you, I'm going to tell you guys what spirit gave to me in uh, meditation. And then we're going to go into doing you guys' generals. And um, we'll break down further what spirit has to say in the cards about celebrities. But I want to get you guys first after we get those preliminary messages out of the way. And for the people who missed it, they'll be able to rewind it once this is posted. Okay. All right, you guys, put some clapping emojis in the in the comment section so I see that you're here. And make sure you're sharing the live as well. Hello, Joey. Welcome. Okay, okay, okay. So let's get into the preliminary messages that Spirit gave about all of these celebrities you guys have been wanting me to hit on for a while. We're going to be talking about Cat Williams. We're going to be talking about P. Diddy. We're going to be talking about T.D. Jakes. We're going to be talking about Blue and Krishan, Queen Naja and Clarence NYC. Okay, so we're going to give you the preliminary messages. And for those of you guys who did the mini readings, which so far I have Sharon. Um, Kathy Lynn, did you come over? Did you want to do a mini? I want to check with you before I move forward. Hello, MD. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to be looking for the comments. Okay. So, and make sure you guys share, share, share the live. Okay, perfect. So, first off, we have to talk about the guy who broke the internet, Cat Williams. I went into meditation and Spirit said that Cat has been waiting for the proper platform to speak his truth. His truth. He wanted to run all this information back. And he wanted to run this information as fast as his 4x4. Four four. You know, he doesn't... See, the one thing about Kat is he doesn't mind being the villain in anyone's story because he knows what that entails. This man is a party of one. He's an army of one. And I'm, I have a prediction here. Uh, Spirit said that there are going to be more stories and more proof. Because you guys know the internet never loses. Because it's already been posting, you know, comparisons to prove what it is that he's saying. So Spirit is saying here, predictions rise. There's going to be more proof that's going to surface in support of his claims in the coming days. Now, this is going to be bad for some careers such as Steve Harvey and Cedric the Entertainer. Because, baby. The cat is out of the bag. Pun intended. Y'all should have left that man alone when you had the chance. Now the gloves are off and he's smacking everybody like the pimp he played on Friday. It's taking me back to Nola. Baby. <laughs> Y'all know I don't talk like that. Okay. Hello to everybody who is watching. Welcome, welcome from all over the world. Love to have you here. We're talking about celebrities. Yes, that's what's coming on. That's what's going on, Sharon. So now we're going to get into the preliminary message. This, yes, Kat went all the way in. Spear wants to give um, some information about P. Diddy, Sean Puffy Combs. Now, everything that's being alleged, and let me just say this before I move forward, everything that I give here, this is not my personal opinion, it's all coming straight from spirit, it's spirit's perspective through Psychic Medium Queen, I am just a channel, I am not biased, I do not have a race, in, I do not have a horse in this race, so whatever I give, as, as you guys know, it's always going to be straight from spirit, okay, so, they're saying as it relates to P. Diddy, he did in fact do everything that is alleged and more before celebs it was everyday women they're saying here so before he started doing what he's doing as um celebrity women you know he's been doing this to i'm seeing younger women before he even got the status that he had you know women that would let him play with them and like cat said y'all his parties are wild cat did not lie I'm seeing, I saw in the vision, male on female, female on female. I saw rituals. I saw like blood sacrifice. They, um, and they're showing, they showed me that Mace is upset. 
Mace used to be really close to P. Diddy, you know, and they're saying that he's telling the truth as well in what he details. Now, P. Diddy is like right now, currently, every his everyday life is to this point where it's like every day his stomach is in knots. This man is nervous. I mean, he is nervous. There is more that hasn't surfaced. And there is, there is more that hasn't even surfaced, you guys. And he is hell-bent on making sure some things stay hidden. Like, he does not want everything. Y'all think that y'all saw some stuff come out? You really ain't saw nothing yet for what's going to be revealed. Um, or what could be revealed, rather. Okay? Now we're going to get into T.D. Jakes. Okay, now, who? This was a heavy. I want to get into the cards for more, they're saying. But what they showed me in the Inception preliminarily here, as it relates to T.D. Jakes and them calling him what they called him, I'm not going to repeat that name here. But they showed me that there is a, there was a camaraderie, a friendship with P. Diddy between T.D. Jakes and him. You know, T.D. Jakes actually gave him encouragement. He was mentoring Puffy. He was mentoring Puffy, trying to get him to go the right way. He actually shook his head at his practices. And I'm hearing T.D. Jakes like basically saying, leave me out of it. Okay, leave me out of it. So we're going to get more into that when we get into the card, you guys. As far as Harvey Weinstein, I hope I'm pronouncing his name correctly. Welcome to the live. I'm hoping it's not even showing me who's watching. That's interesting. So Harvey Weinstein, they're saying that that man is the devil. Literally, he has groomed and molested men. He's um, groomed and molested people in the industry, women and men alike. And he has abused people as well. I'm not talking about physically abused. And he had he, his whole thing was he had he wanted to embarrass men and make them perform sexual acts on each other for fame and money. Will Smith, yes, is one of them. He's created contracts to serve him where it's like basically Harvey Weinstein created contracts to serve himself where he can make or break people. And as far as Dwayne Martin, it is true as well as what spirit is giving. You know, um, we have to put allegedly in there for, you know, the obvious reasons. Now, yes, Harvey Weinstein, that's that, that's that movie. I guess he's the person that one of the people that really put people on um, movie execs. I don't know too much about him. I only know what they're given. Um, but he's a big, I think he was a producer or something. Whatever he is, he, he has to do with movies and things like that. And, and you know, the, the show business in general and getting people on, you know, making people a name. Okay. So we're moving on to Blue and Krishan Rock and what Spirit gave preliminary about them. As you guys stated on YouTube, thank you so much for your affirmations, your comments that I've been getting. You guys let me know that I was three months ahead prediction wise of her having that. Because remember, Spirit specifically said it and I posted the, the video actually uh, earlier on, on, this, on this page where Spirit said that she will be getting that, that tattoo removed, specifically the one on her neck. Okay? And she did. She did it exactly three months later. So spirit is ahead of the game always. Now, what they gave about them specifically, Krishan and Blueface, these two can't stay away from each other. I'm seeing Krishan has a bit of Stockholm Syndrome. And what that means is, for those of you guys who are not familiar with what St Stockholm Syndrome is, it's basically where you have sympathy for your abuser. The person who is causing you pain, you continue to make excuses for them and go back to them kind of feel. So... That's what's going on here. And Blue can't decide between the pair of them. He actually would like both of them is what Spirit was saying. And then lastly here, we have Queen Naja and Clarence NYC. Spirit was saying that marriage is finally on its way. And they've been saying this. I've been giving this prediction for a few years. This is one of our long-term predictions that we've been waiting for to happen. Um, and thank you guys. Thank you guys for all the prediction affirmations, such as her hair color change that Spirit gave at the top uh, last year. Her affirming her need for growth as she hasn't, as she has, she said it herself, she hasn't felt like she's been able to do, she hasn't been able to really grow due to having kids or early. Everything that Spirit has said has come to fruition so far. We're just waiting on those long, long term predictions now. Okay. Now, Spirit said overall, as it relates to celebrities, 
you know, it's celebrities job to stay. It's their job to stay relevant. Something because they have money and status, they can keep things hidden. Uh, that's where they're sadly mistaken because spirit is showing that that's not true. Everything. And I mean, everything eventually comes out. Okay, so that's what Spirit gave preliminarily. Are you guys surprised by any of those things? And let me know, you guys, if you would like me to hit on anybody else, but we'll go deeper into them in a little bit. Okay, but right now I want to get into the mini reads for those of you guys who have already prepaid. Sharon, did you want to do a general or did you want to uh, just do whatever spirit gives? Yep, so what's done in the dark will always come to the light. Did you want to do a general or did you want to? Yeah, Harvey wants, yeah. I already know your answer, Sharon, is yes. I know you want to do a general. So we're going to get some general messages from you for you for the next five minutes. And then we'll go and go back to the celebrities if somebody else doesn't want to uh, do a mini read. I know I knew it. I, saw, I said it before I saw it. <laughs> That's what Spirit said intuitively. Now, for those of you guys who are new to me, if you would like a five minute reading before we get into the celebrities further, Feel free to look at the information that Sharon has posted and send your payment of $20 to either psychicmediumqueen at gmail.com on Zelle or you can send it to the phone number that is listed as well. Okay, all right, so let's get into this general five minutes for you, Miss Sharon. Let's see what spirit has to say here. Let me put y'all down here a little bit so you can see the cards. All right, Spirit, what do you have to say as it relates to Sharon, please? Hello, Louisa. We're doing, right now, we're going to go ahead and do the general reads for those of you guys who have prepaid or will pay. And if you want to get a reading during me covering any of the celebrities, I will stop and we'll go over. Oh, you guys see the orbs? We got a lot of good energy around here right now. I love that. Spirit is all over. It is not dust. <laughs> That's orbs. Oh, I love it. All right. Spirit, what are you saying as it relates to Sharon, please? What are you giving? Okay, they're telling me to stop here. <laughs> okay, Sharon. Spirit is saying here. As it relates to you, you have a masculine that's been wanting to reach out to you and they're trying to figure out what it is they want to say to you exactly. Now, you know, we have a lot of one-on-ones and there are a lot of masculines I know that want to get in touch with you. So I'm not surprised here to see this. Um, somebody is trying to think about what ex what exactly to say. They're, tr they're trying to come forward and they're trying to be... Um, they want to be, I want to say, creative with their words, really being mindful. So you're going to get a message from somebody here fairly soon. This is in the current position. They're saying that, let me, um, and you let me know in the, in the messages if that makes sense, whatever they're giving. They're saying that you've been doing a little bit of clearing here because you always have a lot going on. They know that you've been working over time and they know that you've been a bit tired, your guys are saying. So they're saying, good job on doing a clearing here, which has brought you back to balance. Yeah, we want to know who this is. We'll see who it is. Now, you just got your balance back. So that's, your guides love to see that. You are, you're in a good space currently. You're in a very good space currently. We know, we know our low vibrations are always trying to play around and, and cause troubles and things like that. And for a minute there, they were messing with your, I want to say your disposition, your equilibrium, your, your rest before. Does that make sense to you? comments and yes you're taking a much needed break okay good oh that makes sense okay so 
They were, your, your rest was being messed with. They're also saying, don't worry about money. And you know what I'm going to say before I'm going to say it. When it comes to money, money is energy. So they're saying to continue to balance what you have and they will always bless you. Actually, my gold guy was here. So I do see money coming. That makes sense why he arrived. Um, they're going to give you money for your responsibilities. Balance what you have. And, and you know what? These books are here for a reason because Spirit is saying with that at any given time, even if it looks like you don't have it, they've already, they've already balanced the scales. You don't have to worry about anything. You don't have to worry about anything here. They know you have responsibilities. Balance what you have. We'll take care of the rest is what they're saying. So you will get increase here like you always do. Um, I hope you don't mind me saying Sharon actually has been with me now. I want to say for going on almost four years and the spirit has blessed her exponentially. You know, you, you can let them know whatever you like in the comment section. I've seen so many things come to fruition from this for this young lady. I've seen her blessed so many times, time and time again. It's been real blessing to work with her. Now, your, your last message here, Spirit is talking about your connection that is coming up. We've been talking about marriage for you for quite a while here. So they're saying, yes, it's been four years. And I've seen so many things come to pass. As a matter of fact, the last live that was posted here, Spirit gave more context to the job she acquired. It even described exactly where the location was, what was in front of it, the color of the, the pillars, everything. Do you guys know she sent me a picture of that and it's exactly as Spirit described? Listen, <laughs> Spirit is amazing. Okay, so they're saying get ready here for your connection that's going to be coming up. You are getting ready for marriage. And I still see your baby coming as well. I know that you want a little boy. That's why a little boy is appearing in the cart. But I also feel like you might be the mother of a little girl as well. You might have another little girl. So you might have a total of three kids. Who knows? You might have twins. Okay, so did you have any specific questions you wanted me to hit on as well? That's what they're giving generally. They talk about your rest. Make sure you take your rest. I'm glad that you are balanced, which is good. And I'm still seeing for your job, just so you know, there is going to be a separation that is actually coming. So they want you to get ready, get ready, get ready. Because that place is growing exponentially. Yes, ma'am. It's growing. Any questions that I can look into for you? Or we'll see if we can get you a couple more messages before we move on to the celebrities here. Ooh. All right, let's see if Spirit has anything else. Yes, yes, you guys do need more room. It's definitely coming. Okay, so the, the last message for you here, Sharon Spirit is saying, just be mindful and you, you're used to this by now. Oh, good, good, good. You see exactly what I've been talking about. Okay, we'll get ready for that growth. No more questions? Okay, see, well, I'm going to give you one more message here. You're very welcome. Spirit is saying here with the Six of Cups. Just for you to know, your masculine is going to be a little scary when he comes forward because dealing with the divine feminine, you're not like any other woman. So that can make people shake in their boots because we live in a society where people are very much the same. You have a whole lot of carbon copies and not a lot of authentic people. So as a result of that, you know, that when people come across somebody who's authentic, it, scare, it scares them. It won't scare him away. It just will scare him a little bit because he's going to have to rise to the occasion as always. But you're used to that. Most masculines are like that with divine feminines, right? Okay, so yes, yes, we know. <laughs> All right, so that was the five minutes. Now we're gonna go back to the celebrities. We're gonna do a, a rundown on them and give whatever one spirit wants to give further in the cards as it relates to Cat Williams. And if we have a little bit more time, we'll still give people more time because I know that it's still early um, and people are still getting off work. Um, but we're going to get into Cat Williams first, and then we'll go in that consecutive order that they were given preliminarily. And if you have any questions, throw them in. Of course, you are always welcome. Did that uh, resonate with you, by the way, Sharon?
You know, I typically don't do lives. We typically do all the one-on-ones. The spirit just be cutting up. All right, spirit. So uh, as it relates to Cat Williams, what do you want to give here further? All right. Let's see. Whatever falls out is what it is. Okay, I'm gonna I'm just gonna go on and read and I will check the every everything resonated. Oh, I'm so glad. Okay, so we're gonna I'm gonna read and I'll check the comments every so often. Okay. Ooh, there's been some deception here. We're just gonna do some mini reads on them. We won't be here long. Let's see what spirit has to say as it relates to the whole Cat Williams situation on Shay Shay's podcast. I'm given that Shay, Shay was actually very nervous. I'm seeing this without the cards. You know, as a matter of fact, for those of you guys who are new to me that are watching this later on, I'm not a psychic that needs tools. The way that I work is I've never read a pamphlet. Spirit just gives these images. It just gives the messages more context. That's all. Makes them sharper. But that's about it. Okay, so, but I'm seeing in my mind's eye that Shay, uh, Shay I think his name is Shannon. Um, they call him Shay Shay. But I'm seeing him nervous. He's still biting his nails because this was an interview that he was very nervous about because they were, you know, as he stated in many uh, posts I've seen on Facebook, he was talking about his friends, right? So... That was rough for him. Okay, so I'm going to... Hello, Aries. All right, so let's get into it further. Let's see what Spirit has to say about uh, Cat Williams here further. Now, Cat feels like, you know what? I've done my job. I've done my duty. I might sound like him, you guys, because I'm picking up his energy. I've done my job. Yeah, Shay. Shay was nervous. <laughs> I've done my job. I've done my duty. And... Now I don't have to come back around because I've came on, I've came to the right playhouse to tell my truth. And if you don't like it, oh well, prove me wrong. Show me your receipts because he really does have receipts for everything he's, in it as he's saying. And even Spirit is saying too, for people that don't believe that he read that many books, this man read those books. You have to think, Cat Williams is a loner. How many people can say that they really know this man? On a professional, intimate, on a professional level, not professional level, excuse me, on an intimate level. Yeah, they they don't really they don't really know him. Look at the comments, you guys. So forgive me. I'm just trying to keep my um, attention between the two. But <laughs> he really did read three thousand books in a short amount of time. That I can see him literally in real time, secluded by himself as a little boy in his room, tucked away where most kids would be playing. Cat Williams was reading. He was giving himself knowledge. Just even as a child, it's almost like he inherently knew in his spirit that he needed to conquer his future and also to conquer himself. And even more than that, that he had to enlighten himself because he knew that knowledge is power, literally. And he doesn't have to announce what he does, who he is, what he's about. But when he has to go there, because Cat Williams, I believe he's a Virgo, right? He gives real big Virgo energy because Virgos... Mm, on the, I won't say the shadow side, but Vir some Virgos can, they, they can become off as know-it-alls. You know what I mean? And, but Kat is one of those people that really knows a lot about a little bit. Yes, he is very smart. Okay. So, okay, I'm going to stop looking at the comments. And I'm losing my train of thought in real time. I have to channel. Let's see. And so Spirit is saying here, two, two of swords he has put behind him any worries a lot I've, I've been seeing a lot of posts you can't if you're not you have to be under a rock not to see this somewhere but a lot of people have been saying cat needs to be careful about what he put out there look cat isn't worried about anything that anybody has to say that they're going to do to him because he's already put those worries behind him you know he doesn't he didn't even have any idea what was going to happen but his, his thing was, was like i don't mess with anybody but if you come for me, if you send for me, I will answer. And he was like, you know, I'm finally answering. I came up here equipped. I, I don't know what the turnout is going to be, but he did. He was confident enough to say that as a result of him being on there, it was going to change the game for him. So that tells me that Cat actually is in tune 
with himself. He's a bit enlightened, as a matter of fact, because if he wasn't, he wouldn't have that kind of clarity. So he knew that him being on, I want to call it a clubhouse thing. You know, it just feels like that on Shay's podcast that it was going to really change the game for him and reach more people. He's confident in that because, well, he's him. And he knew what he had pretty much in pocket. Yes, he does not care at all. <laughs> he does not care a lot at all, not even a little bit. So he already put the worries behind him. So everybody that's saying he needs to be worried on social media, no, he doesn't. He's not worried about not nothing because for, for, for years, I won't even say decades, it feels like they have came for this man's jugular. They have said this man is on drugs. The only thing, the only drug that that man has ever done is what he considers is from the earth, as he says, is, you know, smoking the Mary Jane. Um, I don't know what it is, what it is or, or it isn't allowed on Facebook. So I'm gonna be careful, you know, because I, I channel whatever I hear based on the spirit that I'm dealing with as far as the person. And Cat Williams just does not care, but I do. <laughs> so, um, so basically, he has not. I, you know what? I think they're they're showing me in real time. I'm sorry to say it. He's saying that he's only ever done dealt with Mary Jane, but he may have. I feel like he's played with other medicinal substances in the way of medicine. Now take that how you will, but I know what I'm seeing in real time. So there might be a little bit of fibbing. So um, there actually have been other comedians that have said that he was he was lying about some things, but I, I don't want to say he's lying. I feel like he may have, you know how people have their perception, right? So you can stretch the truth to fit your narrative. Like what you believe is, is your truth is really your truth. And another person might say it's a lie because of their perception. Ah, so... Spirit is saying here that what they're saying about him, they can't, Cat is not somebody you can tell on because he will tell on himself. Okay. And they're saying that this situation, all these situations that have happened, a lot of people are arguing, man, that was 20 years ago. That was this a long ago. Why are you bringing this up? Why? Because he has to come and defend himself finally. After all these shots that have been taken at him, they have tried to ruin this man's character. They have tried to ruin this man's, um, you know, his reputation. And now he's like, it's my turn. You ready? Because these darts I'm about to throw are going to hit in comparison. Hello, Latoya. Welcome to the live. They're saying that there is no... Um, the Ace of Cups, it gives me renewal, but this is this is in the reverse. There's been a lot of renewal as a result of him being out there, meaning that Kat is actually smart in the way that this did also help him market in a roundabout way because as a result of him doing this, he has a new, um, he has a new fan base as a result. So you have young people that are, yes, he was quiet for a long time, but you have young people that are like, do you know who Cat Williams is? And their parents are like, excuse me, that's from my time. So as a result of him saying his truth, it has a lot of people that weren't on his bandwagon hopping all the way on because they're like, this man, he's, he's, he's legit. So it has brought about a lot of renewal that he's going to be able to capitalize on out here. He doesn't need to because Cat Williams is actually well off. He's not hurting for money. So what they're saying that his, his worth is, he said it himself. He said he had that on him. That is true. It's not a lie, you know? But see, King of Pentacles says that a lot of people, the worries that his fan base have, you guys got to be careful what you speak on to people. Um, hello, Brittany. Welcome. You have to be careful what you speak on to people's lives because a lot of people have been saying he needs to be mindful of what he said because all the truth that he's saying, you know, he's going to bring about, you know, something happening to him. Listen, you guys have to understand that words have power. And you also are kind of doing spell work because what are you doing when you're writing, you're spelling. So if you're not speaking positively, you're manifesting something into that man's life. So be careful what you speak because I'm seeing lower vibrations here. They're thriving off of that. Don't give a devil power. Okay. So he should be fine. Cat is not worried about anything. And, you know, like spirit gave him in the preliminary messages at the top of the reading, this man is a man that is an army of one. So he's not worried about anybody. 
And feel free you guys to uh, throw some questions in there if you like. Uh, and thank you so much for watching. He's not worried about anybody come for him because he's like, I'm ready. Come at me. This is why people are taking roundabout shots like Kevin Hart, for example. All he can do is play around and make jokes because he can't say it's a lie. <laughs> but this is confirmation of what Spirits gave about perception and um, the way people are seeing it because a lot of people are going to call him a lie. There have been, I, I, I realized I didn't finish my sentence on earlier, there have been some comedians that have said he, he lied a little bit in there. He may have stretched the truth <laughs> to fit his narrative, but Spirit is saying that he, hmm, what are they saying? He did and didn't lie. What does that make sense? He did and didn't lie because they, they already gave context to this. Basically, you can call it a lie if your perception feels that it's not the truth, okay? Just to give clarity, if that makes sense to you. So they're saying, a lot of them are going to try to say he's being deceptive, but um, the videos out there, you know, the, the joke about the... Um, Cedric did the spaceship and Kat did the, the Cadillac, you know, and then also too about Steve Harvey and him stealing one of his jokes, his gas, gas, uh, what is the gasoline joke about how gas prices are so high. They just take it and they reword it and they make it theirs, you know, but it's still, it's, it's, it's stealing. Kat is not lying about that. And, you know, what he did not reveal, he would never let somebody know because he's too proud was for the longest time, Kat did feel like, in a manner of speaking, he was dying here because it's like he had so many people coming for him and he was just taking it and taking it and taking it. But now he's like, you know what? Not 2024. 2024, I'm about to blow up everybody's spot. I'm about to tell the truth about everybody. Even the things that he said about people's wives, I'm sorry, that is true. You know, people may not like the delivery, but if the message is reality, you can't argue with it. Mm. And lower vibrations literally were shut down. I'm talking about every demon, every person that's had something to say that was contrary, that was contrite in a negative way. Um, even though Kat is not perfect, they were shut down during this interview. Because the thing about, a lot of people are talking about um, Shay Shay's interviewing skills, but that a smart interviewer knows if you let a person talk, They'll tell you everything you need to know. You don't need to sit there and talk for them. You know what I mean? Or, or, or guide them. They'll just spill all the beans. Even Spirit is bringing up Wendy Williams. Wendy Williams, she's a natural interviewer. So if you're interviewing somebody of her caliber, let her interview herself. Because she'll give all the tea. Same thing with Cat Williams. He doesn't need an interviewer. He just needs a platform. He just needs a person adjacent to him to say something every now and then. That's what he did. And, and actually, Shay Shay even said before the camera started rolling, that's why the interview doesn't start off as, it doesn't start off as a regular interview because he was already going. He was going for, uh, Shay said, about 30 minutes before the interview even started. So as a result of that, this is somebody who, like I said, Spears said, he, he does not need guidance. He doesn't need to be reared or, or ask questions. Just let me talk. Give me the platform and let me talk. And now, as a matter of fact, I did watch the interview, you guys. I'm not a person that usually watches stuff like that uh, or get involved with it, but I just watched it. I didn't watch the whole thing. Um, but when I, I say that to say, when I did see it, it was sitting at 22 million views. That is his most watched video. And you know why? The reason why I, the only reason why I love it is because I love to see the truth prevail over a lie any day. Because the thing is, nowadays, people rather believe a lie than the truth. Come on, somebody. And as a result, I'm going to tell y'all this. Mike Epp is already the one, it's already confirmation of this. Um, as a result of Kat speaking this truth, you're going to have a lot of people that are going to be doing some kiss up play. I'm dressing it up pretty to basically say they're going to be kissing up to him. They're going to be kissing some tail because there are some things that Cat Williams still hasn't revealed that he could pull out of his pockets if he wanted to. You know, along with, too, the spirit is bringing this up. To, it, it wants me to mention about his acts of service because he understands the universe and how it works. He understands that in order to be blessed, you have to be a blessing. So that's how he pays his tithes, just for you guys to know that. That's why he's so generous. He doesn't, a real, I feel like a person who is really given does not go around announcing what they do. They don't go around announcing 
um, their contributions to the world because they know that spirit will balance the scales every time. Okay, so I'm seeing some offerings being made to him. Y'all might even see some situations, and this I'm giving you guys as a, as a prediction, y'all might see him start to rub elbows with some of the very people that have dogged him out. He could write a book on what he knows. He really could. You guys are going to see some people like, let's bury the hatchet. You know, like Mike Epps was saying, for example, bring me back to that. Um, he was like, why didn't you mention me? He did mention you in a roundabout way because you're the one, one of the ones with the, one of the wives. But he, can't, Mike, what is it? Mike Epps feels like as a result of him doing this, he marketed himself so brilliantly that he get, he's given other people a platform. Even, even if he talked about negatively, it's still promotion so it's like he wanted him to talk about him specifically he was just putting him he was just pretty much putting him in a group he didn't actually like name him specifically yes a lot of people called, came out and told their stories about what cat did you know for example there were comedians who didn't get paid and cat you know will wait till the show was over actually there was one comedian i can't think of his name if you know his name put it in the comment section but he was saying that he got invited by Kat specifically to perform for him. And when he performed, he wasn't there. And after the performance was over, he heard him, he heard him say something to him. And he came up to him. Not only did Kat give him, Kat gave him way more than what the venue paid him. And that meant so much to him to have his, you know, basically to have his, um, his appreciation, his approval. There we are. To have his approval meant so much to him. So, and then also too, he blessed him and he also told him, he said, I'm going to take you on tour. And he literally blessed him. And literally that man was good. So, and there are many other examples, you know, like Jennings, you know, he said he gave him like a couple bands, um, Boosie, he even gave him, he said he gave him like 15 cages. He had rolled it up. He thought it was, um, he thought it was Mary Jane, but it was actually money. He needed it at the time. See, Kat blessed, this is how you know he's in touch with spirit because Kat, Kat has blessed people who genuinely needed it. Yeah, I can't remember his name, but he, he blessed people who genuinely needed it. And that's how you know he's in tune with spirit. And there was a time, the reason why Kat, I'm getting chills because I can feel whoever's going to watch this in the future will be able to feel that as well. And those of you guys who are already here, but Spirit is saying that there was a time where Cat actually was down on his luck. He knows what it's like to be without. He knows what it's like to not have a platform. He knows what it's like to, you know, perform to a house where nobody's really in it because he knew where he was going. At six years old, you know, they were saying um, he basically made promises to himself it, it, or like at, I think I, it was a video came up on my feed today. He was saying everything I promised my six-year-old self, and I'm paraphrasing here, we did it. He did it, you know? So he knows what it's like to feel defeated. So this is why he believes in bringing people up. But I tell you one thing, you better leave that man alone. But this is going to cause camaraderie to come between him and other people. Even they're talking about that interview of Wanda. She still, to, a, to this day, owes that man an apology because her career hasn't been the same since, you know? She ruined herself. Not, she lost a lot of followers. She lost a lot of viewership. She lost a lot of people tuning into her radio. Um, anybody who has put their tongue on this man, like, has fallen. Or, and there's some people, well, not all of them. Like, for example, Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart has made his own name in Hollywood. So he's not as easily touched. Um, about him being an industry plant, there's, the spirit is saying yes and no. In some ways, yes. In some ways, no. And yes, in the way that this man is everywhere. <laughs> you cannot miss him, right? Okay, so any questions about Kat before we move on to Sean Puffy Combs, P. Diddy, and T.D. Jakes? I want to look in the comments really fast, see if there's anybody, see if there's any questions that you guys have, or did Spirit cover everything? Sean, I got all kind of tongue tied. <laughs> Sean, did you have any questions about Kat? Sorry, you guys, the live is a little slow. Spirit covered it all? Okay, all right then. Okay, so now we're going to move on to P. Diddy. And then some. <laughs> that 
Thank you. I'm glad. Okay, so let's move on to P. Diddy. Now, Spirit already gave him preliminary messages, um, confirmation about what he did, in fact, do everything that they're alleging that he did. So let's see what else they want to say about him here really quickly. Oi. Listen, this is the third party card and already came out, so they already mean it happened. So that's confirmation as it is already, okay? Woo! Spirit is saying to keep this one short. I'm going to draw a few more cards. Okay, because they're going to have a lot to say about these few cards that's up here. So, this is confirmation. This third party card means that Sean Puffy Combs, P. Diddy, whatever you refer to this man as, he did in fact have many parties and I'm feeling like this is a contract here. It's like what happened here, you cannot repeat. But people are breaking that contract like, no, like uh, Cassie, I'm going to tell everything. I'm going to show all the videos. I'm going to tell everything you did to me because I'm feeling like she did have a form of Stockholm Syndrome as well herself. She had sympathy for her abuser. Just like the women before her, all the girlfriends he dealt with um, before he had his level of stardom, they all felt for this man. There is a lot of darkness within him and he is stressed present time. But to give you guys more affirmation, as I said in our earlier, everything that is being alleged is true, except for they're showing this contract further. And, you know, Sean Puffy Holmes, he really believes he's some kind of magic. He believes he's God's gift to women and men. And oh yeah, he has been with men too. They're showing me in real time. I'm seeing him. I'm seeing what he's doing. For those of you guys who have never read with me, you're not familiar with me, spirit shows me everything. You can't get nothing past spirit, even sexual acts. I see it all. My clients can tell you. You know, I, I will know when you guys have had the horizontal poker happen, but my clients feel comfortable enough with me where spirit allows me to see everything, okay? <laughs> You know, I've even had it when people first started out with me. So you can't hide anything from spirit is that to say that. But this man has been whoe, with men. He's been with women. He's been with all colors, shapes, sizes. I'm even seeing little people here. Like he's done it all. Right? And right now, this man is waiting for the cavalry to come in. He's waiting for some kind of help. Help is behind him. His helping day is over. Because the thing is, you had, and you know what? They even showed me this. And I have to say allegedly. But I'm not going to never tell spirit. I'm not going to ever say what spirit says ain't the truth. Um, I'm even seeing things that have to do with Suge Knight as well. There was some involvement with that. <laughs> just for you guys to know that. They won't go any deeper. But they just said that he has dealt with things that have happened to people. He had a hand in it. We're just going to say that. Just to give you confirmation if you've been wondering. Because he has. Okay. Um, nine of Wands. <laughs> Sharon. Nine of Wands says that, you know, right now this man is being beat up. I'm talking about beat. Left and right by everybody. It's mama. The children that are already come. The children of the corn. Listen, I'm messing. <laughs> no, he's made. He has been drugged through the mud as he should because the thing is for the longest time this man felt like he couldn't be touched because he had things in in play where he thought he was protected if i pay you off you'll shut up if you do this you'll shut up kind of feel those days are over you are no longer the captain of the ship p diddy your time has come it's going to sink there are there are still many there are more people because spirit is showing me clear spirits coming ahead this man is not done being sued this is not it this is just the start. This is just the beginning. This is not it. As the saying goes, it's the beginning. More is coming. More is coming. And you know, the thing about it is, let him tell it. He will say, I'm not a perfect man. I made some mistakes, but he will never be clear on what has happened. I don't see him admitting it. Is he going to, he's going to admit it in a roundabout way. He will admit some things. When I say admit it, I mean like admitting everything. He wants some things to be called falsified. Because for as long as he can protect his image, he will. But he ain't got an image no more. He does not have an image anymore. Because he's got, you see all of this nastiness here? That's what his life has been. And he's felt like it's been like, you know, shadows. Like he's been able to keep everything under wraps. That's all done. So right now, it's like he's actively trying to seek ways to clear his world. He's even calling out to his fans. I need y'all help. I need y'all to help me with XYZ. I need y'all to talk about my character. I'm losing money. I wouldn't even be surprised if he'd be another one. I'm not saying he's going to do it. But I'm just saying it's to this level where he's losing. 
he's losing things. He's losing, um, what are those things, sponsors and things like that. So he's going to be losing money as a result. I'm seeing him even lose, like, um, I'm seeing him lose physical things. Like he could use, he could lose a yacht. He can lose, um, some of his material things as a result of what's happening. He is trying desperately to get things taken care of, but that's not happening. It's not happening. The Calvary is here and all of his demonic ways are, have come to the surface. And I'm even seeing him, you guys can correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, well, like I said, spirit is, is you know, but I, I'm seeing that is there's a picture with him and Harvey Weinstein or they have like Harvey Weinstein, hopefully I'm saying his name right. They have rubbed shoulders and they, it's like he kind of taught him, he groomed him in a way. So some of his information comes from him. Some of his like suggestions come from him, how to get away with murder, so to speak. Like how to groom somebody, how to take advantage of somebody and get away with it. Or so you thought, just like Harvey Weinstein, so he thought. And everything about him is being revealed right now. So uh, Four of Cups says that he was pissed off Pistivity is not even the level that he's on at this point. At this point, it's like, I'm, I'm in um, protect myself mode. I want to go ghost mode, you know, all the modes, but anything good. And there have been people, this is, they're talking about Cassie, Cassie specifically here because Cassie was younger when she met him. I'm feeling like as young as, um, not the same age, but I'm feeling like young in mind, like Aaliyah was. And he said he was protect her. That's why she stayed away from, stay around for so long because he made her feel like a child in some ways, like he was her protector. And he left her out in the cold. He damaged that young lady a lot. And I'm seeing a lot of people that he's done things to that are some of your beloved celebrities that still stay up at night thinking about what Sean Puffy Combs did to him. All right, even the people that he's been with. And now some people that he actually treated better, like for example, he treated J-Lo well. J-Lo can't tell the same story because she didn't have the same experience because it's almost like something in him knew that she would tell. Now she's a Leo, big Leo energy, yeah. Fire signs will snitch on you in a minute. You know, we gonna say, you know. So I don't feel like he did to her what he did to the, to the rest of them. He only did it to people that he felt like he could do it to that were impressionable, I feel. Um, seven of pentacles. This is confirmation of what spirit gave. I got ahead. Of, I got ahead of it. Um, in spirit, spirit is just sometimes it's ahead of itself with these cards. This is confirmation that he's going to, has lost things and will be losing things. All right. So yeah, what they allege is true. Allegedly. We got to say that. All right. Um, any questions further about him, you guys, other than what they gave? Otherwise, we're going to move on to T.D. Jakes to see what Spirit has to say about him further as it relates to this whole entire situation. See if he has any kind of involvement with it. All right. While, you, while I wait on the comments to catch up, I will put some cards on table. I know, right? I know it's insane. So this is about TD Jakes. I know one thing just off this first card alone, the Ace of uh, Cups being the reverse, TD Jakes don't want no parts of this mess. No parts of it, okay? And now, yes, this is conf yes, confirmation of what they gave on earlier in the preliminary messages. He said, leave me out of it. He don't want nothing to do with it. Now he's, he's busy now having to clean up what's been spoken about him. I am seeing him at those parties and I'm seeing them making gestures to him to do certain things and him saying no. But the fact that he was there, that's problematic, uh, problematic enough because if you are there physically, stories can be made about you, storylines assertions and suggestions can be made about you. So that's where he hurt himself. You have to be careful who you align yourself with in this life because if you hang around with pigs, you're gonna get dirty. You know what I mean? If somebody's jumped in the mud and they shake around on you, that mud is gonna get on you a little bit. So be careful about the company you keep. And this is one of the things that even at TD Jakes's age that he's learning. As a result of that, he's been having to be very mindful of what he speaks to his congregation, to people in general. He's 
One thing about T.D. Jakes is, is that he's very articulate with his words. He's very mindful about what he gives. He's not going to just give any old thing. And he's not going to be, um, he's already been pressed enough in his life. So he's not going to be put under pressure to move according to what people say. Because if you're doing that, that means it's true. Just like right now with this whole situation. Yes, right, right. That's the thing. He intended it. But just because you intended it doesn't mean you're a part of it. You know what I mean? But I, I agree with you, Brittany. It doesn't make it right. And actually, it really does not look good on you at all as a man of the cloth. You know what I mean? Or anybody that's setting a standard apart from what was presented there. So now he's going to be doing a whole lot of breath work to pedal this back and make himself look like the man that he is. But the thing about T.D. Jakes, I could do a whole segment on him alone, like a whole reading on him, because he's he's a different kind of man in that he everything he does, he makes moves for his ultimate, what he feels like is his purpose, which is to guide people and be a light and things like that. He's used to being drugged for the man. This is a man that has lost his uh, his mother. He's he's had his he's been in the tabloids for his child being pregnant at a young age. So he's not a he's not new to things like this to having his name drugged through mud. But this is a biggie right here because they're calling him a. Y'all can put the name in the comments if you heard what they're calling the man, but it's, 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 mm, it can be subjective because the thing is, it's all based on stories that are being told. But what spirit is giving me is he was trying to be a mentor, but he should have been a mentor outside. Meet me at the Potter's house, not at your house, which would, it would have been a lot better. Okay. So yes, this is confirmation. He wanted to breathe life into into Sean. He wanted to make him a better person because he saw the demons that he grappled with. And as a man of the cloth, he should be able to help him come out of it. But instead he was pulled into his world. And as a result of that, now your name is tainted. Not forever with those. Because the thing is, when it comes to somebody talking about you, you have two kinds of people that listen to those things. You have a person that knows you really well and says, you know what, this is not their character. That's some you know what, BS, I'm not listening to it and moving on with their lives. Then you have people that rather believe a lie than the truth and they will harp on that and they will add to it. It's like telephone. You know what I mean? It starts off with one thing. Oh, he was a this. He was there getting on with such and such and such and such. Oh, and he touched me and he did it. Just like, for example, all these people who said, going back to Cat Williams, they said they was married to him. They was married to him spiritually. <laughs> they had to tell the truth. They, he, they, they lied. So it's like, it's hard to believe the truth when you have so many lies when you can place him at the scene of the crime that's for example give you i'm doing uh, spirit always gives example through me that's for example like saying if somebody was killed or, or or their life was taken in a house there are two people there and both of the people one of them doesn't know what's going on but they're in the house you're guilty by association you didn't hear the person screaming how we know you weren't involved with it so people are going to believe the lie over the truth you see it's just, just the way it goes. So, you know, Sean has always been a person that was like cold and icy with it. They're giving like he actually, he got over on a lot of people. He was able to take advantage of a lot of people. And pretty much he almost came off magical in that way. Because if you go back to back in the days, even in the nineties, like his music was it. If he didn't have, if he wasn't on the track, he was involved with it. He was a big deal. And to this day, he found a way to be reputable without even putting a whole lot of music out. Now, I don't listen to this man. I don't know. I haven't listened to him since I was in my teens. And that was a long, long time ago. But I know that his name still reigns supreme. How? Why? Because of the contracts this man has done. Okay. Now, even with his fear, he still feels strong in some ways. Because I'm telling you, all I'm sorry to say this, but I'm literally seeing defecation here. I'm seeing there have been things that he, like he, he ugh. Ew, okay, spirit, I don't want to see that. Golden showers, defecation, all these things. I'm even seeing blood sacrifice, like in a, in a way being done. All of these things, it's it's crazy, okay? Um, the levels that these people go through, it should be a surprise. You guys think that they make these movies out of thin air. It ha it's, it's, it's inspired by something now. It's inspired by something. So he's been on defense, trying to defend himself left and right. Um, that's, that's, they're going back to T.D. Jakes, you know, he has to defend his name and that's going to be outstanding for a while here because people have lost faith. They have lost faith, but they always, they always have things to say about this man. You either like him or you don't, you don't. Now, I don't know him personally. I know of some of his work 
even as a pastor, I don't know him on that level. I know him more on the professional level in the way of the books and things that he's wrote. Um, other than that, I don't like to know his track record. I know he's well-spoken though. So right now, all TD wants to do is get away from it all. Just leave me out of it. Leave me out of it. Ace of Swords says this man does have vision and people better be careful about don't never, what you should never do. The Bible says even, do not touch my anointing to do my prophet no harm. Be careful who you put your mouth on. Don't, don't speak upon this man. You want to know how his kids feel? Okay, I'll get into that. It's funny that you would say that because they're getting into the marriage. Right now, his wife is very supportive. You don't see too much of her. You know, at least I don't, I don't go looking for him. So I, I, I know I didn't see too, but you guys let me know. I don't see too much of her in the public eye. She's very, she likes to remain private in her and TD are like the opposite of, what, of one another. Right now, uh, TD is feeling more balanced with this. His kids, you ask how they're feeling about it. I'm seeing it. Oh, P did his kids. How do they feel about it? Okay, we'll get into that. We're talking about TD. So, but just for you for to know, they did show me in real time that his kids are loving on him. TD's kids are loving on him right now, present time. And he is going to be making an offering to the collective that follows him. I'm talking about TD Jakes to let, him, let them know, like, look, that's not me. This is what I am. This is what I stand for kind of feel. All right, and not a source says that he's ready for anything because the thing about purpose, and this is a, a nugget for you guys, when you have purpose in this life, you have to know that you're going to be touched in some type of way because your, your test is your test, your purpose is always going to be tested. It's going to be tested by lies. It's going to be tested by life. It's going to be tested by per circumstance. So as a person who is a, a person that has purpose in this life, you're going to be put through the ringer. You're going to be put through the press because how do you make wine? You have to press the grapes and pressing does not feel good. So this man is not a stranger to this. So this is like, it's not a walk in the park. It's not a good feeling at all. But his thing is like, if you believe that you go ahead and believe it, I don't care. I've been through worse. This is, this adds to the worst. I really don't need it right now because we don't know what that man is dealing with. Everybody is dealing with something consecutively, consecutively at any time. And since 2020, we have had so much hell break loose in our lives as a collective. I'm talking about every single person I'm pretty sure has a story of grief, of loss. Now, I want to, you know, we're going to claim in 2024 that we're going to see success and overcoming it. Everything that was lost, that spirit gives in abundance to. Now, 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 when you lose a loved one, that can't be replaced. But just for you guys that don't know, I am a medium. You know, those people never really go. So they're never really lost. You might lose them in the physical, but you always have access, access to them in spirit. And now they genuinely don't have to suffer anymore. They're on the other side. If anybody wants to connect, you guys know how to reach me here on the, uh, on the page as well through the, uh, the channels. So now you ask how P. Diddy's kids are feeling. Let's get into that really fast before we move on to Blue and Krishan. Did you guys have any more questions about T.D. Jakes? How is P. Diddy? Some of them I'm actually seeing in real time, arms crossed. They're actually really upset with him. Um, in particular, one of the boys. One of the boys, I feel like he is like, it's almost like an alienation here in his affection for his father because he's upset with him. Yeah, he's upset with him. And this is one of the kids, it's one of the kids he actually lied to. As a matter of fact, he, he tried to keep things from and like, oh, you just seeing things. Oh, you don't know no better. Like, you know, it's not the truth. And because he he had he actually had inclination because the thing is, Sean tried to keep his his kids away from this kind of thing. But you cannot fool children. They can see. So it's like even though he may have had a party somewhere else, they were still enlightened about it. Whether they were like people peeking around the corner if the party was going on in the house or if it was adjacent to the home or wherever or somewhere else, they knew about it. So, but one of those kids was really on about it as far as intuition. He was right about his father. And as a result of that, he's staying away. This is, they're giving me a more a light skin, a light skin uh, young man here. I don't know which child that is. And as far as connection, I don't know if he, they're giving that Sean actually is in connection with somebody and she's. One of those ones that is actually he probably connects with a couple people, but um, they're given that she is on that whole Stockholm syndrome kind of bit, where it's like, you know what, what they're saying is not true. My man will not do that until it's her turn. He may not be hitting you yet, 
he may not be putting you through it yet. I'm seeing strangling yet. Once he, so that's the thing about a narcissist. Once they get you comfortable, then they start to pull out the things that are evil. Because the thing is, once they do it, you have become so accustomed to the love inside of them, you'll be hoping that that person returns. That's how they hook you. Quincy? Yes. Yes. That's him. Whoever that is. I don't know who it is, but it's, it's him. Um, he also is, is trying to, even with these things going on, um, he's still trying to recruit new women. Talking about you different. Oh, Jesus Christ. Knight of Swords says that, yes, this is confirmation of one of the children being defensive towards him. They are not liking what this man is doing. They're not liking what he's doing, what he stands for. All right, so next we're going to move on to Blue Blue and Krishan, Blueface and Krishan Rock and uh, Jaden. I believe that's his other baby's mom, right? Um, if you guys have any more questions, feel free to put them in the live. I want to see who's watching. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Blue and Krishan. So now Spirit gave, I did a reading like months back, okay? And Spirit gave in that, in that reading that Krishan will be removing her tattoo of blue face, specifically the one on her neck, and she did. Spirit was exactly three months ahead of that. Um, she got that tattoo removed. Let's see what else they're going to give. They also did say that they can't stay away from each other. I'm see, You know what? I hate to say it, but I see them back together in some capacity. Again, they, you guys know if they've already kind of been in cahoots, if they've performed together or anything like that. Because social media can lie sometimes. But I do see them, like, in my mind's eye back together. Oh, I sound like Judy. Why am I channeling her? Oh, that's why this spirit did that, because you guys, oh, spirit is funny. They had me say it that way so that I could also affirm that spirit gave in the, um, uh, they gave in that reading as well. Forgive the sirens. I live right down the street from a, um, what is it, a, a hospital. So you guys will hear that occasionally just so happens oh yeah oh and right around the corner from a fire department so yay so forgive me if you guys can hear that in live anyways so spirit was just saying about judy and brad spirit gave there would be more context about the baby in their upcoming show should it be renewed and it was so thank you guys for that confirmation thank you guys about the confirmation about blue and kashan Thank you even about the confirmation as it relates to Queen and Naj, Queen Naj and Clarence NYC, who we will get into here in just a second. Now, as it relates to Blue and Krishan Rock, yeah, who is this? Is this Krishan? Krishan was feeling left out in the cold by Blue. Um, now for those of you guys who know, I don't really follow people on social media. So whatever I give is what spirit gives, but, um, it's giving that she felt left out in the cold by blue. So that's what enabled her to stay away from him longer this time as it relates to her and the baby is, it, it feels like he, he wasn't very supportive of her. And so as a result of that, she like, you know what? Forget me. You don't, you don't support me. You can't even support your baby. I really don't want to be around you. That gave her the strength she needed to stay away from him this time, a lot longer in comparison. Now, this is confirmation of what Spirit gave about him not being able to choose between the pair of them. He's stuck in between them because the thing is, they both bring something different. Krishan is more of the party girl. She's the one that gives him a name. She makes him relevant. Whereas Jaden, Jaden, whether she, whatever she appears like on social media to you guys, Spirit is giving me, that young lady is more of a homebody. She's more of a homebody. She doesn't really want to be out in the limelight like that. She might have gotten her body done to appear like what society says you should look like as a woman. But that woman is more so about, she's given more so about family. And if you look at her, you can see it in her face that she doesn't feel comfortable 99.99% of the time. This is why, you know, blue, blue face is like, I don't know who to choose between. Do I want somebody that's going to keep me relevant? You know, even if we are fighting and it's so toxic. Or am I going to choose somebody who is more wholesome, who, who wants to stay at home with the kids, but she doesn't want to party like me. And that's not going to make me no money. That's what keeps him in between the pair of them. And he really got in trouble when they, when they got paired up because they were friends for a second. You know what I mean? So and it's almost like it's contractual. They have contracts with each other as well in this life. You know, Blue being with Krishan Rock in the first place, it's pushing her 
to become a better version of herself. Because the thing is, when he got with her, she was better than what she was. He was supposed to push her and challenge her in a different way to make her become who she is. Now, the key would have been for her to stay away from him. That's how you know you've truly grown and overcome the lesson that's been taxed on you. But instead, she keeps, you know, playing Russian roulette with her life and being with guys either either she's being with, being with him or being with guys just like him. She's not getting the full lesson here because he did, you know, as a result of her, he has a name and she also has a name because there wasn't a Krishan rock without a blue face, you know, but Krishan makes him look better if that makes sense, okay? Now, Blue was upset for a long time because she did start to see other people, um, allegedly. I'm saying allegedly because a lot of a lot of it could be for, for show. Um, but now he's over it. Now he's over it. And now, as a result of that, he does want to fight here with the Five of Wands. He wants to fight for the connection. And that's why he does what he does. And what he alleged about um, Cardi B offsets... I don't see him with her. I see Offset with Cardi B, even though he's, we're going to get into that too if we have time. Um, <clears throat> even though Offset has done what he's done to Cardi B, I do not see him. He looks at Krishan as like a little girl, more like a little sister than he would be um, somebody that he would be interested in romantically. Okay. So, but I see ultimately um, her scarily walking away. So it's like they're going to do this dance of even if it's not out there in the public of them doing that whole thing where it's like together not together or appearing together or appearing to be together or not together but ultimately she's gonna have to fearfully walk away from this with some permanence or as permanent as it can be because the thing about it is he's always going to be in her life because he's that child's father you know even though he alleged he's not so the devil did definitely have a field day with this. He always has a field day with these this trio of sorts. Any questions as it relates to Blueface and Krishan? You guys drop them in the comment section for me. So Three of Pentacles says that this is confirmation more of like the threesome that's going on here. You know, he can't decide or he, try, he tries not to pay attention to either one of them sometimes to make it look like he don't need nobody. But he really does. <laughs> He really does to stay fully relevant. Um, Krishan gave way more in that connection than she did to any other connection. So that's one thing she did learn. She learned how to stop doing so much of that. And she learns how she learned how it worked better in her favor to not be so given. <laughs> Sometimes you got to go through some things and, and lose some things and see what it's like in order to learn that kind of lesson. And here with the Three of Swords, it says that it took a long time for Krishan to get over the hurt that he caused her. And he's not, he's definitely not done hurting her. That's why she's going to ultimately have to choose herself at some point and walk away as far as she can. Because it stresses her out. It stresses her out to no avail. So let's see what's coming up for them outside of what Spirit said about them kind of doing the back and forth dance. She went and got that tattoo removed just to still deal with them. What's coming up for them, please? Blueface is going to continue to be Blueface. And she's going to make... As Spirit stated just now, he's going to continue to be himself and she's going to continue to make offerings to him until she's tired. You know, As the old folks say, you'll know when you're tired, when you get sick and tired of it. And only you know how much you can take. Okay? All right, we're going to cover, unless you guys have any questions, we're going to cover Queen Naja and, and Clarence NYC, and that'll be it. And then we'll get into some collective reads for no reason about, let's see. It's all what, so the thing is, but when we're born, we come here to relearn what we already really know, to learn our lessons, you know, to live our purpose. We come here to do a deed. And people get it mixed up. They, they lose track of that. And they get their life goes into a whirlwind. And some people don't learn. And they got to come. And they wonder why they got to come back. And repeat lessons all over again. Because they didn't learn the ones they're supposed to learn. Learn the lesson the first time. All right. It's not always that easy. Now let's talk about Queen Naja and Clarence NYC. Spirit said that marriage is finally on its way. We've been waiting on this marriage for a few years to come to fruition, you guys. 
Yep, she covered, exactly, exactly. She covered the tap just to be with him again or just to have dealings with him again. But she, in her mind, she always is going to have to in some form or fashion. Yes, lessons, lessons upon lessons. All right, so let's see what's coming up for Queen Naja and Clarence and Marcy. And then we're going to do a few more, collect. I'll do a little bit of collective reading, see if anybody wants to get a read, and then wrap this up, you guys. Okay, you guys, let me know who is. You've been waiting for this. Oh, Clarence and uh, Queen. Yes, they're saying that's it. Okay, all right. So I'm going to concentrate on the table so I don't get sidetracked. I'm just going to get a little mini re. Oh, Clarence is. Okay, wow. Okay, so Spirit is saying here that Queen Naja is in her queen area, in her queen era, excuse me, because I don't know if you guys remember this, but Spirit gave it some time back when I first started reading her on now almost four years ago. Spirit said that they were going to, things were going to happen in her life. You guys thought she was doing something, but it hadn't even scratched the surface at that time that she was going to become, you know, pretty much be able to be compared to the likes of big stars such as selena and stuff like that like she's that that of this time for some people now it's happening as spirit stated even more than that she's coming out with music now they were saying in the last reading she's coming out with music that has even more purpose even more depth and it's not about her personal life she's just speaking to situations there's a lot of growth here is what they're saying so she's in her queen era in the way that She's coming out with more. I'm seeing another album. Another album that's coming on top of the one that she just, I know she's uh, just released some new songs, but a full album, okay? And there's another one too that's going to be coming right after this. I see some blue in it, just for you guys to know. It's like, it's like sky blue I'm seeing here. She's going to capitalize off the power that she's coming to. She's really becoming a woman, a young woman. Not to say that she is not a woman, but she's becoming more mature, you guys. The strength card here says that she has put a lot behind her. I'm happy to see this as far as her involvement. The Spirit has given something to this context before, but it's on a whole nother level. She has genuinely cut people off. She's cut family off and she's keeping people at a distance. No more of this hunky-dory, this making my life a show because now I want to be seen as the artist I am. She's saying I'm done with it. I'm done with y'all taking advantage of me. Y'all can keep talking about me all you want because it's just speculation. It's just keeping me relevant. She's learned enough to know that bad talk, as Spirit said on earlier, bad talk or good talk still works in your favor because you can be talked about. So I'm glad she finally finalized that and put people behind her. Now, she does have some things coming her way that she's not going to see coming. The last time, Spirit gave a prediction that something was going to happen that they wouldn't see coming and their home got broken into, unfortunately. So the thing is, we can't prepare for all the things that are going to happen, but every single situation that occurs in our life is allowed because it's a buildup to something else. So what's going to happen in the situation that's going to be coming up, situations, there are going to be multiple, <coughs> given this as a prediction, what's going to happen is her hands are going to be tied. She will not see it coming. But they're going to be for her good. And she's going to be able to control it when, when it happens. But it has to come to the forefront front, forefront first. Now, they won't give it because there's a lesson to be learned. They won't give us the specifics. They're just saying that there are going to be many events that are going to occur. You know, Spirit can't tell you every little thing, you guys, for you guys, if you guys don't know how uh, readings. Oh, yeah, I'm going to have to wrap this up because my, my battery is getting low. But basically, there are going to be a host of a, a host of things that are going to happen here um, that are going to be for her furtherance that she's not going to be in control of until they're revealed. Now, she's used to standing in red flags at this point. She's become so strengthened. She's like, come at me, bro. It's the kind of feel she's giving me. She is more balanced. I love to see that. <coughs> um, Clarence, I feel like, is in between. He could be more balanced. She's cleared up a lot in her life. She actually even has people that are going to be reaching out to her for some more opportunities. We've seen that spirit say that before, and she's worked with some of the greatest, as, as a matter of fact, right after that spirit gave that prediction. It's no different with this. So Queen is going to be rubbing elbows with some real big names. But the thing about the Queen that remains that I do love about this young lady is no matter how many people work with her, big names she works with, she's always just going to be Queen. I feel like the little, that girl from the block. So she's going to be... Um, 
in that way, like like J Lo is. Don't be fooled by the rocks. I got. I'm still I'm still Jenny from the block. She's very much still queen from the red couch. So she doesn't get a big head in that way. But she'll have reason to get big head because these producers that want to work with her, you know, these big names like Babyface wanted to work with her too. Um, interesting. I don't know what Tony Braxton. She she's aligned with Babyface. So I wouldn't be surprised if at some point they did something that'd be an interesting collaboration. Or so she's dealing with she or that or she because she's dealt with babyface. Either way it goes, this young lady is dealing with some big names coming up here again. Now, there's some things that have happened behind closed doors that you guys are not aware of. There has been talk about the wedding. She, you know, <laughs> I, I can say that I know Queen does watch. Spirit gave me the permission to say it. She does watch, okay? And she doesn't like that spirit gives what it gives in the way that it does, it tells. But you can, it, it, in spirit can only, you can only, I can only say what they give me. And you, you can't stop what spirit has for you coming. It, you can probably try to put a hold to it, prolong it or whatever, but it's still going to play out as spirit gave it. Even if it's, if it's like come and dress up in another color, it's still coming. So that to say that, um, two of pentacles. She's tried to keep that. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you for getting me back on track. She's tried to keep things behind closed doors away from you guys. So you guys won't know it. But um, <laughs> she ain't going to be able to hide too much longer because it's going to come to the light. She wants to be ahead of it, um, especially the wedding. She wants to be in control of how it plays out because I'm still seeing her in a wedding dress. I'm still seeing Clarence and the tux. And I'm still seeing, I'm actually, I'm seeing the, 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 the invite list is growing. So this is good. The invite list is growing. Um, she has a lot to celebrate for coming to 2024. 2024, I'm being told, Queen. And I will probably do a reading if you guys want me to. You let me know in the comment section and let me know, for those of you guys watching after this post is uh, uploaded, if you guys would like me to do a 2024 in review like we did. Uh, I think we did it. When did we do it last time? We did another one for her. Everything Spirit Gave came to pass. Um, so we, we can do one of those. But she has a lot coming up for her. Um, very, very good. Just like everybody else in life, we got good and bad. But she has a lot of opportunities that are going to be presented. 20, 2024, as Spirit was about to say, is your year, Queen Naja. I'm seeing some loneliness with Clarence. So I don't know if she's going to be, uh, if she's been traveling or doing things without him. Because she's also getting a little bit more independent. Because I feel like in a, in a good relationship, you need to have co-independence. Meaning there's, there's going to be times where you need to be away from your significant other. You know what I mean? It's, it's just no way around, especially if you're a celebrity. You, you're not going to be able to go everywhere together. So there are times where he's away from her. He's lonely. This man really loves this woman. And we, for those of you guys who are huge fans of, of Queen, you guys already know about the back and forth as it relates to them and, and what people have to say about him and how they don't care about, how he doesn't care about her and blah, blah, blah. It's all nonsense. It's just here again, just somebody having them in their mouth, which actually helps the brand. Because this man does love her very much, and that's not changed. They might have matured in their love, meaning that they're getting to a space where the love is more um, realistic than it is, you know, all lovey-dovey. And a mature love knows that it takes more than love to sustain a connection. Real love. I'm talking about people that have been together for 20, 30 years. That's real love, because they know that love is not everything, you know? Lastly here, oh, I love to see this. Even though she has some things that are going to be lessons for her coming, I don't see a whole lot of towers at this present time because it's in the reverse because she's already had them. There have been things that have happened. This is behind the Honda. This is going back to the behind, the behind the closed doors things. There have been things that have happened that she has kept under wraps successfully from you guys um, that she's not happy about or proud about, um, that she's overcome. Now, the thing about queen and she can be a little bit predictable so if you looked at her tweets if you look at her tweets close enough um you'll see this is what they're giving i don't have twitter so i wouldn't know but i'm saying if you look at her tweets close enough you'll see that she does in a roundabout way say certain things about things that she's going through you can read between the lines of what they're saying okay all right so any questions about them so that's what's coming up for queen they basically focus a lot on queen and um i'm hoping that clarence uh get some balance with his loneliness due to her having to be away. Okay. Any questions about that? I want to get a couple things for the collective, a word of encouragement or something before we leave here, before this phone get down to 10%. <laughs> 
Um, but you guys let me know how did you like the, the readings? How did you like what they had to say about um, the people in question? And if you guys want me to cover anybody else really quickly, I'm going to stay for like five more minutes. But this wedding is coming up. I know Spirit also did predict that a baby was coming as relates to uh, Queen Naja as well. That's still on the way too. All right, so I want to pull some cards for the collective real fast with the last few minutes we have here. You guys can throw me out any questions you like. <clears throat> All right. Let's get a word of encouragement here for the collective. See what Spirit is saying to you all. You can throw away, you can throw, throw away, you can throw um, in if you like some relationship questions, but I'm going to give you guys whatever spirit is saying here. I'm going to start with these three cards. So spirit is saying here that a lot of you guys have started off 2024 with reviewing what has happened in 2023. A lot of you guys have been through a lot, spirit is saying here. It's been 2020 through 2023 actually was were a rough few years for the collective. Everybody went through something like Spirit gave on earlier. So Spirit is saying that those things are actually about to turn around. It sees the sleepless nights that you guys have had. And some of you guys are starting, are just going to start, have started, are going to start getting back into the rhythm of getting your sleep patterns in order. Because for some reason, it just knocked off everybody's sleep patterns um, last year. Going through all, it's because you've been going through all of those hells. Your, your nervous system didn't know how to react. Yes. Oh, Wow. <laughs> Thank you for the confirmation. More detail on the masculine is coming in. Okay, well, I'll stay five more minutes for you after I get this um, in here. So, Spirit is saying here that the Empress for the collective, it's time for you guys to birth what has been placed in you. Do not let what has happened to you determine your future, determine your purpose, and take away what is meant for you. It's time for you to power up because that power is still in your hands. For as long as you have breath in your lungs, there is still time to accomplish what it is you set out for and what it is you are here for. It doesn't matter what age you are. This, this woman in this car looks very young. Does not matter. <coughs> age just like time is a construct. It's a number that's been given. You know, somebody made a joke and they said, I'd rather when people ask me what my age is for them to ask me what, what level I'm on, because that just sounds better. And it, it really is actually true too. You're on this level in your life. It doesn't mean that's what you, where you are maturely, wisdom wise, where you are in your lessons and things like that. So Spirit is saying here to start to birth what it is you came here for. Do not let yourself get sidetracked with things like solely love, the desire for a particular thing. Always aim to grow and do what it is you were sitting here for because that's what you were here for. You know, there's a saying that goes, Life is a stage and we're all desperately unrehearsed. We're not desperately unrehearsed. We just need to relearn what we studied. And we have to learn that by interacting with one another, right? And going through the lessons that we agreed to have with each other. That even means that if somebody comes in your life to hurt you, if you take the lesson from that after the pain has subsided, then you have gotten what you were supposed to get out of that person. And that person has to deal now with their karma for agreeing to the pain they caused you. So it's all literally a circle here. Circle of life, so to speak. And no, this is not the Lion King. <laughs> all right, let's see uh, really quickly here. Sharon, you were asking me about this masculine that's coming in. What do you have to give about him really fast? This man will be a leader, but you don't want him to lead of his own volition you want him to lead by spirit because i'm seeing his eye his the the, the glass is a little foggy here so that tells me that this man is somebody that's going to need your guidance and you can be the queen you can straighten his crown i always believe in a woman kinging her man by being his support you can be the support by having his back so to speak this is not this is not the spin the blocker guy this guy is your actual man He's your, he's your divine counterpart. Okay. 
So they're also saying that your arms are crossed with this. You won't know it. Just like Queen, they were saying about Queen, you won't know it until it happens. And I also remember what Spirit said in your last reading, okay, about what's required before you get here, about the decision you can make about what you can have until he shows up, okay? So there's a lesson to be learned with this. And, and one of those biggest things is patience. Yep, more about the blindfolding here. You have all the power. You have everything necessary that you need. Um to take on this connection, take on this relationship. You've went through so much in your life as it is, Sharon. So you put behind you the hard parts. You you've been prepared for him, but he's going to come when he's supposed to. And what divine timing. People hate that saying, but it's true. Divine timing. All right. So let's get a couple more messages for the collective. I think all of you guys, even those of you, if you haven't um, been speaking, but you've been watching the live, Thank you so much for coming in. Let's see what spirit has to say. Some more words of encouragement. And I will be going live again. And we're going to be going, doing solely the collective. You guys let me know what day works best for you. So you can be able to get in here. I wonder if you guys want me to do it like on a Friday. Um, or, or Monday. What works better? You guys throw me some ideas out there. All right. So I'm going to get some predictions for you guys collective. For those watching now and in the future. Okay, so some of you guys, and I know this is for you, Sharon, will be getting married here <coughs> in 2024, 2025, and 2026. Wow, they usually don't give me numbers, but I'm, I'm getting in the next few years. Some of you guys can expect to meet your person. Now, if they, you meet them, you come back to this live or come back to this video and post a comment. Okay, um, you will be meeting your person. You guys will be having a child if you already are not with child already in the way of like, if you don't already have a boy or girl, because there's a boy in this card, you will have a family. So for those of you guys who have felt like your life is at a standstill with love, it's coming in. But the reason why a lot of people don't understand why they haven't found love. A lot of people, and, and the reason why that is, is we're dealing with a lot of people who are woke and a lot of, and more people who are not. And the thing about woke people, you can't just be with just any old body. So as a result of that, um, Spirit is saying that it's going to start bringing more people in that are aligned with your purpose, aligned with you. It's that season. You've been through, like I said, uh, 2024 is going to be the year of realignment, of forgiveness, of purpose. I'm seeing even reassessing. And getting what you were supposed to be giving as a result of the pain that you endured. So it's a, you're supposed to be a year of, it is a year of balance. Balancing the skills, making this fair. Because life has felt like it hasn't been fair for a long time. Those of you guys who are set apart, you are the authentic. You are not like everybody else. You cannot be replicated. And there's a whole lot of crop and copy still running around here. So you're going to, looking for you, to find you is like finding a needle in a haystack. So you're going to have people, masculines and feminines, that are going to appreciate that notion about you. Yes, renewal. They're going to appreciate that notion about you and they're going to appreciate you. So you'll have more opportunities for love. I'm giving that as a prediction for those of you guys tuning in now and those of you guys who will see this after. All right, you guys. So we've been here almost two hours just shy about 27 minutes shy of uh two hours um i'm going to wrap this up do you guys have any more questions wrap this table off sharon do you have any more questions before i wrap up the live here You are so welcome. It is my pleasure. For those of you guys who are tuning in that are watching for the first time, do you guys have any questions I can ask for, answer for you before I leave the live? Oh, let me put this in there. If you would like to get a one-on-one -on -one reading to delve deeper into your personal connections, into your personal life, see what's coming up for you in 2024. And as I stated, Spirit will tell everything, all of the business. <laughs> Be ready for that. Um, feel free to reach out to me for a personal paid reading at psychicmediumqueen.net. You can also email me at psychicmediumqueen at gmail.com. Um, yes, love it. I would love to be of service to you, Brittany. Brittany, do you have any questions that I can help you with before I leave? I'm happy to help. I got 10%, so I'm pushing it so I can get one question in. <laughs> 
Sharon, you as well. And we will be going live again. As I stated, we're going to just be focusing on the collective. So um, I'm only going to, I only offer uh, discounts during the live. So make sure you tune in, take advantage of the discount. Um, Brittany, if you want next time, it's up for five minutes, it's $20. But if you want to get a full reading, uh, all my prices can be found on my website as well as on, on these pages as well. All right, guys. So the live is taking a little bit to catch up. So I'm waiting for any questions you guys have for these next couple minutes, and then I'm going to say goodbye for the day. You said no, we'll talk next week. Okay. You've been stuck on where you at with your professional life. Okay, let me see what I can get real fast for you. I see increase. I see money put being put in your hand. So you will be having some increase coming. You really need to, Ace of Swords says here, you need to really activate your faith because you know, Brittany, that's what they're giving me. You know what you're capable of. Um, start to put in applications. I'm seeing them in paper, but we all know you can do it online. Start to put in applications. And I'll encourage you, like I encourage my client actually who's in the chat right there. She can tell you. Um, even apply to places that you didn't think not that you would get or even apply for a promotion where you currently are. You're only stagnant. Actually, this is going to sound a way, but you're only stagnant by choice. Right, you're where you are because you're choosing to be there, but you don't have to stay there. You're gonna to have to activate your vision as well. And you can do that through meditation and I also can help you with that. And Spirit is also saying here, you need to birth more as far as your professional life goes. You're doing less than what you really could do. There's a lot of vision in you. There's a lot of purpose in you that you've been sitting on. You're the person that Spirit was just talking to about birthing your purpose is never too late. You can do more. If you don't like where you are, move and do it by faith and you cannot have faith without you cannot have faith and worry at the same time you will do one or the other okay now you've been it's like they're saying like you've been kind of like trying to do this blindly on your own trying to guide your own life that's a swords energy tap into your guides because like i always tell my clients you have Guides around you, angels, ancestors, 365, 24 seven that you have access to, but you also have to be open to receive those messages. So that's, when, that's where a reader can come in and channel where you can't touch, right? So Spirit is saying with that, you're gonna have to um, really open your eyes to the guidance before you because you've been trying to do it on your own. Does that make sense to you? And you've been feeling like your hands are tied, but they're not, that's self-inflicted. That is self-inflicted. You don't have to stay here, start moving. Start activating your faith. It's going to take faith. faith. Faith is your first stepping stone, Brittany, okay? Yep, you got a lot of these with your, um, uh, the, the, your eyes are covered. You don't know how much power you have because you need to activate your faith. Activate your third eye. And how you do that is you go into meditation. Start telling your guides to speak to you. If you start to see, if you haven't already, see um, even numbers like 1111, 111, 222. These are ways to know that you're ready to go. It's not just about your professional life. That's here. That's how you survive. But there's so much more to life. When you activate your purpose and align it with the rest of your life, oh my gosh, the things and the doors that spirit can open. So let spirit be first and the rest of it will settle itself. Does that make sense to you? Don't be nervous to step out. You cannot have that kind of lower vibrational feeling and emotion. And I, and I feel you feeling this. I'm an extreme empath, so I can feel what you feel. Listen to what you're feeling right now and be encouraged and know that you can do this. The only person that stands in our way in this life is ourself. We limit ourselves. Nobody's going to go out there and, and do your purpose for you because can't nobody do it like you can. Many might wear your name, but they'll never be you. Understand that. You have a purpose. So if your purpose is what you're doing work, and I feel like you help people. So I don't know if you're in a necessarily in the medical career, but you're doing something where you're helping people. You will reach lives. You know, you don't have to be in the medical career, but I'm saying I feel like you're a person that can help people. So right now you've been limiting yourself. Get out of your own way. Does that make sense to you? Lose the nervousness. And messing around with me, my clients will tell you real fast and spirit will have you straight up conceited. Okay? <laughs> because spirit will give you a confidence that nobody can take from you. Because it's something that you, you will have grown into. You're very welcome. It's my pleasure. 
to be of service. I hope you guys have enjoyed the live today. It's a lot of information. It's, it can be a lot to try. I don't have a team. It's just me. Um, well, my team, I do have a social media team. Thank you so much, Sharon Bell, for uh, being the moderator. She is my social media assistant. I appreciate her, but I'm talking about here in the physical. It's just me uh, doing these different um, devices. So thank you guys for being patient with me. Um, while we do this, it will continue to get better as I continue to do lives um, in the way of structure, whatever. I'm just going to always give what spirit gives. So I hope that it gave you guys some clar clarity as to what's going on in all these people's lives. 2024 is actually off at a good start. You know, Cat Williams has blew up the internet <laughs> with his truth. Okay. And I just, we would like to see more of that. You know, spirit is always on the side of good and the side of right and the side of truth. Right. You hold on to that. Can't nothing get in your way. And there's so many stories that Spirit can say that I would love to share with you guys. But for those of you guys who do not, do not know me and you would like to um, read, you know, find out for yourself what Spirit can do in your life through these sessions. You know, and I, also for those of you guys who do, do not know, um, I do have a VIP uh, section and those people I do offer by the minute. So once you've read with me, if you can't afford always getting 30 minutes an hour, you do have the option to do it by the minute. So there's no excuse for you not to be investing into your spiritual life. That spirit will give it right back to you. Cause Sharon can tell you many times spirit has blessed her financially. Everything that has, she has given spirit has given back to her a thousand fold. All right. And everybody else, if you want to see your life go to the height um, that conglomerates do, then invest in spirit, invest in you. OK. All right, you guys, thank you again so much for tuning in. I will see you guys in the next live. Do comment in the comment section below for me, even if this, this does end, what day will be the best day for you guys in the future so I can get more of you guys in here. For those of you guys tuning in after um, we did reach, we did mention how to reach me. You can find that in the comment section as well. Thank you guys for tuning in and I will see you in the next live light and love and blessings. And I'll also see you guys on YouTube. All right. Have a good one.